Here we go again. How are you doing today? Hopefully it's as fantastic as you are. My name is Prosper Tarovinga and I'm your online prosperity strategist. Welcome to this uh, uh, video where we're going to be talking about why marketing, why not marketing your business is actually costing you a whole lot more than it would actually cost you to, um, you know, to, to, to put money so that you can reach out to your audience. All right. Now, the reason why we're talking about this today is because I viscerally believe that every online business should be profitable and you should actually enjoy working in that business. And I also believe that if you're a business person, you should be able to create for and relate to the audience that you're going to be, um, you know, demanding money off of. So let me know where you are tuning in from. If you're watching this on Facebook, can you just type in the number one? If you're watching this on YouTube, please type in the number two. It just helps us to see where our um, um, audience is also coming from, right? So I believe that we're all here to live, um, learn, and to also contribute. So that's the reason why I think you would have started your business, and that's the reason why you need to reach out to as many people as possible in order for you to serve them and in order for them to buy from me, all right? So a lot of people that I speak to every single day, um, people like yourself, um, you know, that want to earn more money with less struggle, you know what I mean? And they they really want to benefit their families, they've got their whys, you know what I mean? They, um, they've invented remarkable products, but all they hear is crickets on their websites or nobody's actually buying from them. I want to help you to actually start telling stories around your products because that is what people buy. All right. People don't buy products or services. They buy the story behind. So this is why we sit around and um, especially in this video, why I'm going to be telling you not to neglect your marketing and what to do about it so that you too can have a business, um, you know, that's profitable and enjoyable. I'm in the business of building business builders. All right. So people like yourself that probably don't have time for marketing. I want you to actually consider hiring a freelancer. All right. So whether you, you want to market your business, um, or you want to reach out to as many clients as possible, it's no longer a question that you need help. You need somebody to hold your hand to do it while you're concentrating on what you know best. All right. I will maybe put it out there right now because the reason why you started a business is because you're probably a good lawyer. You're probably a good chef. You're probably a good consultant. You're probably a good coach. You probably know something or an aspect that you want to put out there into the universe or into the world. All right. But how are you going to do that if you cannot amplify that message and you do that through what? Through marketing. We only have 24 hours in a day. And in that 24 hours, you can't you can't be, you know, calling clients, you can't be setting up appointments, you can't be servicing those clients, you can't be doing the work of the clients if your uh, business entails you to do, um, you know, a service or help um, other clients achieve um, a goal or a happier existence. So how then can you find time for you to then reach out for more, um, you know, for more work? Because all the people that I talk to, a whole bunch of them, they have start and stop strategies. So this is, you know, like you, you go out the whole month of August um, networking and, and, and putting out ads and, and putting Google ads, SEO, whatever it is that you're doing in your marketing strategy. And when you start getting an influx of clients coming in, guess what they do? They put a stop to the marketing. And what that does is, Yes, you've got leads up until a certain time, but what happens when you need more? Your marketing machine should always be constantly searching for more leads coming in, you servicing them, and some people take six to eight times for them to actually um, be convinced that they can work with you. So what are you doing in the process? What strategies have you put in the process for you to be reaching out to these people while you're busy um, you know, serving your clients? Because everything that you do, your marketing, your website, your talking to people, this, it's all marketing. And if you can't do it on your own, hire a freelancer. And I'm going to be telling you, you know, how um, it, it, it all works out. Because as statistics go, one in every 
uh, five businesses that starts doesn't go past the first year. And if you're like nearly the three, three million small businesses in Australia, there's pretty much of a good chance that you'll, after your bills are paid, after your customers are satisfied, the next month's supplies are ordered and you're ready to serve more clients, there's little time for you left to think about or act on your marketing. You know what I mean? You probably have all the bells and whistles that can bring clients in, but if they don't know of your existence, how are they going to come to you? You know? And, 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 and one thing you only can do without anyone's help is maybe a couple of videos here and there, but are they consistent enough? You know? And in fact, one in every five businesses in Australia doesn't even use digital marketing as of yet. You know why? Because it's so many things that are involved and they don't know where to start. You know? But if leads dry up and bills start coming in, you, you, you start going, I mean, if the bills start going unpaid and customers start lining up reviews on sites that you can't even mo monitor and start bed mounting your business, do you think it was wise enough then for that time to, um, you know, to be, to be ignoring your marketing? Because ignoring your marketing strategy starts to look less of a smart thing. You're not saving money if it's actually costing you money to reach out to those clients. And it's a great way to lose reputation in the marketplace. It's a great way to lose all the brand branding that you have worked so hard to put together. Some people that I talk to, they're like, I'm a consultant. I've been doing this for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, and even as longer, longer than I've been in existence. But you look at their work, you look at their website. It's like, nobody's going to want to look at what you're doing. Nobody's going to want to buy anything from you because your website belongs in 1989 where people were speaking from the top down. Right now, customers have an opportunity to speak to you and ask questions and interact with you. Where are you when all that is happening? So that's where you're leaving money on the table. That's when you insert a freelance marketer or you insert a digital agency like myself. I'm here. <laughs> you know what I mean? So freelance marketers or, or digital marketers, people like myself. Some of them are annoying, I must admit. Some of them don't know what they're doing. I mean, everybody is on Facebook, but not a lot of people can Facebook, all right? And that goes for you, the, 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 the business owner. You know what I mean? There are other freelance marketers that if you take your time to actually find out what they say or is, are they worth you know, the, 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 the paper that they write their, their brochure on or whatever it is, you will find that these people would be a biggest asset you've ever put in your business. Because no matter how good you are in your business, if your target audience doesn't know what you do, then what good are you to anyone? So freelance marketers like myself will help your business find a voice, will help you build that brand, and will help you close deals, leaving you, the business owner, more time to actually focus on your client relationships that are the ones that bring in more money for you. We leave you time to actually now focus on growing that business and nursing and nurturing your, your, your clients so that you get referrals and more repeat business. So it is an investment that you actually need to consider because if you're not marketing your business, it's actually costing you. All right, it's actually costing you. So just for example, the TV that you have in your house, you have people advertising to you. You have everybody telling you the, their mission statements and everything else. How are you reaching out to your customers as well? Because out of sight, out of mind, you know, how much is it costing you not to reach out to your audience? If you're target to is to to earn two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year how much are you willing to invest to get that uh, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars so it's not just a matter of you wishing that i want this revenue or this sort of income coming into my business what are you doing as a business owner as well to 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 mark your to 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 to, to lay your stack in the ground to say i want this um revenue and this is how i'm gonna bring it to you do you know how much it costs you to actually acquire a lead? Do you know how much it costs you to convert that lead? All right. So when you find the right marketer, you know, it's a, it's, it's a must for you because you now stand out in all your competition 
Because they are trying to do things by themselves. You can't climb the ladder of success with your hands closed. All right. Because all the time that you're going to be fiddling around with the new algorithm in Facebook, the new algorithm on LinkedIn, the new algorithm on Google, your competition is probably just letting that, um, you know, assigning that to, to, to somebody else who is competent. And they are utilizing their 24 hours in their day to do more things with less struggle. The more you find it frustrating, the more you're not going to be a good person internally and it's just going to let you, um, you know, be, be, be rough and, 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 and not, you know, relatable to your audience. So why don't you let somebody who can give you peace of mind, like a digital marketer or a freelancer, um, you know, if you find the right marketer, um, you know, you, you actually now can stand head and shoulders above your competition and take your business to the next level. You know, do you know what I mean? <laughs> if, um, you know, if you really, 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 really um, want to make sure that 2018 and 2019 are going to be the best years of your um business, I think you should actually start considering hiring a freelance marketer. And most of these people, you can find them on Elance, you can find them on, on, on Facebook, find out somebody who's got results, you know, because they do the work that you cannot do. You know what I mean? Whether it's not having enough uh, time or, you know, what do you call it these days? If you don't have enough bandwidth, or the talent to put together a marketing strategy um, that's right for maybe your company goals or your business goals. You as a small business owner, you right now relaying or, or, or you, you, your whole business is sitting on the shoulders of start and stop tactics that no longer get the message across. And you know what? The average customer right now takes information from 10 plus sources before they make an in informed purchase decision. Are you amongst those 10 sources that your prospective clients are looking at right now? Can you type in the comments if you actually do a blog every single month or at least regularly? Type in the number one. Type in the number two if you're thinking about it. And I want you to type in the number three if you've never written a blog for your business. Don't be shy. The reason why I'm saying this is because people come to the internet to get information, all right? And if your business is the one that's providing that information, they get to know you, like you, and trust you. What are you doing in order for you to increase the awareness of your brand, you know? So can you actually continue to afford, um, you know, to hope that your own offline reputation or marketing degree from 1980 will carry you through this fast changing, fast paced, algorithm changing spectrum that we're living in right now? You know, today's the 23rd of August, 26 years ago, the internet was discovered. You know, and then they let it out to people. So if you are older than the internet, chances are you don't know how to actually Facebook. Chances are you don't know how to utilize this grand, um, um, you know, um, device that you have right now. You know, because according to, to, to surveys, um, I read a lot about other digital marketers and how they're doing it. You know, um, there's a, there's a digital agency that's based, I think, in Orlando in the States. And they say the number one challenge that is face that is a lot of small businesses face is content creation and marketing. We do not know what our customers are actually reading right now. We do not know what appeals to them. We do not know how to actually engage with our audience. We do not know how to actually provide them with value, inspire them, and also educate them in such a way that we're positioning ourselves as the go-to person for that particular, um, you know, um, part of, of, of our business. And also, if you want this um, blueprint here, just type in blueprint and I'll, sh I'll send it straight to you, uh, a soft copy, you know? You know what I mean? So while small business owners from whatever industry, they can't get in front of their audience because they don't have the bandwidth, they don't have the resources or the expertise to get in front of these people, you know? 
and, and, and they don't know the ideal content that their buyers are using to, to seek out, um, you know, the, the type of business that they, 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 they provide. And which then helps them make a decision whether to purchase from them or not. Do you know exactly what your customers are searching for? How do they actually land onto your website? What is it that brings them to your website? What are they looking for? Have you got all of that mapped out? Because if your company blog hasn't had a post in over a month or worse, or maybe your social media pages, um, you know, have outdated branding, guess what people are going to do? They're just going to keep scrolling. You know what I mean? If your website hasn't featured anything updated or you've got landing pages that have no change of content since maybe the Bush administration or when Tony Abbott was still president, you are one of the 29% of businesses who don't, um, who, who are not even going to make it past 2020. And some small businesses don't even have a website yet. And they're failing behind the marketing game because they are anticipating um, that their word of mouth that they created a long time ago is, is, is going to perpetuate. Guess what? People don't talk to their neighbors these days. How is word of mouth going to spread? People talk on WhatsApp. People talk on Facebook. People talk on um, and even Facebook is actually considering that share button to change it to message. You should look out for that. Uh, it depends on when you're watching this video. Probably they've already changed it. So people are just sending people messages on something that they would have found interesting to them. And they are thinking that maybe their auntie Sally would enjoy this content. They send it through a message. And that's how people are doing it these days. Just sharing content like that. That is word of mouth. Are you part of that share sharing um, spectrum that your clients are doing? Are you, are you involved in any of that? And you know what? Complicating matters further, you know what I mean? Some business owners are actually approaching, you know, this, this, this marketing strategy with, with incomplete knowledge. With the, the lack of know-how because your customer is not going to wait until you're ready. They want to purchase today. So why not jump on with somebody who already knows what they're doing? Because a lot of small business people think that content is just, um, you know, the website. But a good enough freelancer would know that the tools that you need to use, the pop-ups that you need to, um, you know, integrate into the market so that you can get people's emails, get them to watch a video, you know, and, 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 and put out press releases or even an ebook, a guidebook, anything, white papers that would actually help you be in front of your customers more because our audience now has a three second um, attention span and if you're not grabbing it guess what your or uh, your competition is you know so you might not be knowing what your audience content appetite is or you you might not even know how to create a case study so that they can understand how you can help them by actually helping them so if you're confused about all of these things, just type in the number one. I will definitely, um, you know, um, organize that we have a phone call and then we, we can actually decide and I can give you an audit of where your marketing actually is at the moment. Because hiring a, a marketer is the surest way to actually ensure that you're staying on top of the crucial needs and, and trends that are happening right now. And you're getting in front of the audience that actually matters the most in your business and, and you're in places they're already looking for you. Because there's no way that you can be everywhere if you're doing it all by yourself. You know? And half of the time, you know, we get really caught up in, in, in the nitty gritties of what our business entails. Do you know that? We, 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 we've stopped to focus on what the customer actually needs. You know, you need to start thinking like the customer and, 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 and not like how you, you think they perceive you. I speak to a lot of business people that are so full of it, so full of themselves. They don't realize that the person they're talking to is also a, 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 you know, a, an avatar to their business. They don't realize that I'm also a customer to their business. So if they speak to me like that, that means that's how they speak to their clients. And that's the reason why they see or hear crickets within them, um, you know, their, their, their business uh, collateral. You know, 
So if you're going out there creating content to satisfy maybe average uh, B2B or B2C customer, it's, it, it might not be con convincing enough. You might be using too much jargon. You might be using too much inside knowledge. I've got a customer who is a uh, dentist outside his shop. I had never gone there. So outside his shop, he had a sign that said, new patients welcome. All right. When you've got a sore tooth, do you associate yourself as a patient? I think not. You are Sally, you are Jane, you are John who's got a sore tooth. That's how you, you know yourself to be the person. So how is the Sally or Jane going to know that the dentist is talking to them if he's referring to them as a, as a, as a, as a, as a patient? You know? And, and they're the reason why small to medium business owners should actually consider having a freelance marketer is because marketers know how to think like the audience. We are also part of the audience. You might know your business inside out, but what your audience is asking is, can this company solve my problem? I see Michael has just tuned in. Thank you so much, brother. We're going to be working on a lot of these things um, sometime soon. All right. Can, uh, you know, chances are good that your audience actually knows what they want from you. You're not spending time to actually discover or find out what are their needs. Who are they? What are their aspirations? Because if you can't speak to somebody emotionally, you can't get them to, to pull out their credit card. That's one thing for sure. You know what I mean? So you, you can't, you can define your product or your service in the same way that you utterly, um, you know, um, they, they understand. So a good marketer would know how to position your brand as the solution to what your customers are actually searching for at the moment. They know the terminology that you need to be used. They're familiar with customer lingo and they're very natural around them. Not you saying, um, you know, or, or, or sometimes customers don't need to save money. Sometimes customers have different needs and aspirations. Are you able to tap into that? You know, so sometimes so right now you might be thinking, oh, how am I going to be able to find, um, you know, this freelance marketer who understands me or who knows how to work with me and stuff like that. Prioritize what you actually need. What are your goals? Who do you want to become? And then work re and then reverse engineer that because you can't hit a target that you cannot see. So prioritize what you think is important for your business. What aspects do you need to actually pull out so that your customers get to know you, like you, and trust you? You know? I mean, why? Well, while the case for you, um, you know, um, while it, 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 it might be different for, 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 for people, when it, it's not easy to find somebody that you're compatible with. Find somebody who's genuinely interested in what you've got to serve. Find somebody who's also results orientated. You know what I mean? Going about getting a, 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 a good freelance marketer is not easy. And if you've never hired a freelancer before, you know, and, and, and where it's, it's some people are different. All right. So there's freelance marketers that might just show up and you don't realize be intentional about the person that you want to work with. You know? Do you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, this is what I'm saying. You might think you know your business. Get a second opinion. Find somebody who has been there. Find somebody who is in the market. Find somebody who, who knows exactly what is actually happening and how you can actually put your message out there. All right? At the end of the day, finding a real professional might not be the way to go, but make sure you get a second opinion on the work that you're putting out there. All right. If that's not music to your ears, you know, to somebody who is overworked, then I don't know what else is. You are able to actually save yourself a lot more money by finding somebody who knows what they're doing. All right. So if you're watching this live, just type in where you are tuning in from. OK, because I really want to inspire you to do things that inspire you, because all you can do is all you can do. Find out what what are your needs in marketing? What is your competition doing? And find somebody who fits into your program and find somebody who respects your business as much as you have respected it. It's time to let go.
Because if you keep holding, if you keep holding on to what was or the marketing of 1989, you're not going to reach out to the custom of 2019. All right. I really want you to make more money with less struggle. You know what I mean? And I really want you to, 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 to bring out the, 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 the service that you are to bring out. My mission is to help entrepreneurs like yourself to set up reliable and lucrative businesses that are actually profitable and you actually enjoy working in them. All right. So you, you'll be utilizing an effective yet simple um, you know, uh, systems and digital marketing strategies because it's just the basics that you need to make sure you've mastered. And once you've got that, those, you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. All right. In the meantime, I really appreciate you tuning in with me today um, and how we were talking about why you should no longer ignore your marketing because it's costing you money to ignore it or using people that are not well versed um, with what they're actually doing. Um, reach out. Let's have a chat. Let's have a coffee. I'm more than happy to find out how I can help you by actually helping you. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this show, please share it with somebody else that might um, enjoy it. I'm out of here, um, but I will be back again tomorrow. So thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, just leave us a comment. If you're watching this on Facebook, share this with three other people. And hopefully we can be also able to help them out. Bye for now.